Hello everyone, my name is Evo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. It is great to see you because today folks we are going to make a simple but delicious pasta dish, fettuccine Alfredo, my style. Let's get started right now. So I have some water preheating and let's start our pan going and of course we're going to start off with extra virgin olive oil. One, two, three, four, five, six tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. And to that, I have here three cloves of garlic that I have minced. So we're gonna add our three cloves of minced garlic. That goes in the pan. So we're gonna flavor that olive oil up, heat up this garlic, and cook this garlic for about a minute. That's all, we just wanna flavor that that extra virgin olive oil with this beautiful garlic. You can see our olive oil is flavored very, very nicely. So what I have here now is I have four tablespoons of butter, which is equivalent to uh, a quarter cup. So we're gonna melt that in with the garlic. And again, we're gonna flavor this butter with the garlic as well. And there we have it, our butter is melted. I have it on medium heat right now, so that's, that's gonna continue to cook up nicely. So. To that, I have here 275 grams of mascarpone cheese. Now, um, you could either use 250 grams or 275 grams of mascarpone. I went with 275 today. This is a beautiful cheese, folks. The flavor on this is amazing, and I like to incorporate this into my fettuccine alfredo. This makes for a great sauce, folks. If you've never used it, I mean, you've probably used it in the tiramisu, but if you've never used it in a sauce, I'll tell you what, folks, it's absolutely delicious. Okay, so we have, we have our mascarpone cheese, and we're gonna now combine that with the butter and the olive oil. And we're going to get that all incorporated together. So the butter and the olive oil and the garlic have that beautiful flavor, which we're now extending into our mascarpone cheese. There we go, that's incorporated all very, very nicely. And to that now, we're gonna add one cup of cream. Now I'm using 10% cream here. You could use 5% cream. You could use 35% cream, uh, as you wish. But you know what, I'll tell you, I'm, I'm cutting down a little bit on the cream, so I'm gonna go with 10%. Um, 5% would have been fine, and in fact, folks, I'll tell you this. If you don't have any cream in the house and you have like uh, homogenized milk, 3.25%, you can use that as well. In fact, if you want a lighter sauce, by all means, you could use the 3.25% milk, okay? So we're gonna, we've added that now. Uh, to that, I have here a quarter cup of grated Parmigiano cheese. We're gonna add our Parmigiano cheese. I have some nutmeg here, a pinch of nutmeg, not too much, because this is a very strong um, spice. And the only other thing we're gonna add, folks, is parsley. So you can add about one, two tablespoons of parsley. Alrighty, and now we just heat that up together. So our water, I brought it back up to a boil because once this is all incorporated, what we're gonna do, folks, this is just gonna simmer while we cook our pasta. That's the beauty of this dish. Okay, so that is all incorporated now very, very nicely. So what we'll do is I will put this on simmer, and that's basically it for the sauce. The sauce, folks, is done. How easy was that? Okay, so let's make our way over to the pasta. Now, for the pasta, Now's the time to salt the water. Do not salt the water prior to boiling your water because if you put the salt in when the water is cold, what will happen is it will tarnish the bottom of your, of your uh, pot. So basically what you want to do here is you want to add three quarters of a tablespoon of salt for every liter of water. You want that water to be, yes, nice and salty. So, for this, folks, I made my own homemade fettuccine. Now, you could use homemade fettuccine, you could use store-bought fettuccine, you could use, in fact, any pasta that you want, okay? This 
this dish goes with any pasta. I just happen to make homemade today, so that's what I'm using. Uh, in fact, if you want to see how I made this homemade pasta, I have an actual pasta making tutorial that will give you a step-by-step -step directions on how to make this beautiful homemade pasta. And in fact, it's not easy. It's not hard at all, folks. It's in fact very, very easy to make homemade pasta, which is why I opted for homemade today because it was quick enough and easy enough to make, so I did it. But again, I wanna stress, you could use this with any pasta at all, okay? So, once your pasta is in, you need to bring it back up to a boil, okay? So, with homemade pasta, it typically takes about six minutes to cook, that's it. It does not take as long as store-bought pasta does, okay? So you put the lid back on, and we're gonna bring this back up to a boil. Okay, as you can see, it's come to a boil, so let's get that lid off right away. So from this point now, now that it's come to a boil, we can now start the timer going for six minutes, and this pasta will be done. But if you're making a store pasta from a package, just read the, read the package. It'll typically say how long it takes. And it's usually, folks, anywhere from 9 to 11 or 12 minutes, depending on the, the brand of the pasta you bought. But the key is bringing it up to a boil first, then starting your timer. Okay, our six minutes is up. Time to shut that down. Let me go strain this pasta, and we're gonna get it plated with that beautiful, beautiful sauce. Okay, so let's get our beautiful sauce. Turn that off. And I'm gonna pour that sauce right into our serving bowl. Look at that, so, oh my goodness, folks, the aroma on this sauce is nothing short of amazing. Okay, let's take our pasta that we've just strained. Oh, look at this, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, okay. Let me get a couple of spoons here. All right, with the spoons, you're gonna to wanna to toss it up relatively quickly and get that sauce and the noodles all covered while it's still nice and hot. In fact, you wanna serve this hot. Oh boy, this is looking so good. It is looking so good. And the fact that we didn't use really, really heavy cream makes it even that much better, right? So you don't have to use those real, real heavy, heavy creams when you're making um, Alfredo sauce. Okay, there we have it, folks. I want you to take a look at this. That right there is a bowl full of deliciousness. And you know what that means? I need to try it. <laughs> I need to do, we have to do the taste test right away. Okay, I know you're wondering. I got a small plate for a taste test. Just a small plate. <laughs> okay, so let's get, oh, look at this. Oh my folks. I gotta tell you, with, without even eating this, I, I know already this is gonna be full of flavor. Full of flavor. How can you go wrong with those ingredients that we put in? There's a small little taste test right there. Mmm. Folks, this is outstanding. It is not overly rich. It is nothing short of delicious. I gotta tell you, the flavors on this pasta, oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. You have to give this recipe a try. Mm. It is so good. And the other beauty, folks, it comes together so quickly. By the time the water's boiled, the sauce is made, put your pasta in, it doesn't have to be homemade, you've got a beautiful dinner. Oh my goodness, okay. And that's what I'm gonna have tonight, folks. A beautiful dinner. I'm gonna go sit down, give Laura a call. We're gonna get this while it's hot. Folks, wherever you're tuning in from, 
As always, thanks for spending time in the kitchen with me. Hope you give this recipe a try. And until next time, bon appetito. Oh yeah, this is what it's all about right here, folks. This is seriously, seriously delicious. Hmm.